Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. Pattern in there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, a little shaking here. The craziness has begun. Mm -hmm. Much grinding and welding and burning of fingers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But the light just changed or something? Mm. It's getting me. It's time to have little holes to fill. Yeah. That's good. So it is a chain on there. Still got the uh, three more to make and half of that one. But it hasn't moved. So looks like it's gonna work. Okay, so uh, pipe number two, dog number one, pipe number two, it's about halfway in, get some, get some major gap going on there, and uh, some hard places to weld at. But, um, and it's getting there, but it's going slow. Uh, yeah, okay. Quick update. Um, here's uh, the work that I've... You, you got this? Mm. Okay, pretty self-explanatory, huh? Such a tremendous lot of work. I do not recommend having fun doing these types of things yourself. So a lot of inside and outside welding and grinding and piecing together. Whoop! Sorry. Yeah, okay, and I got two more to go. I got this one. And this one. So, um, I'm pretty close to being done with this one. Um, it's not pretty. You can see it's pretty shabby looking. But I don't think there's any holes. Uh, there is two. There's one more hole. It's, there's a hole. I was going to weld a hole. A little little hole up in here somewhere. Better weld that shut and grind it again. But, uh, so that's, that's the uh, situation. Just keep working on that sucker and grinding on her.
and re-welding it and welding and grinding and grinding and welding. Here's a little drill driven thing. Here's one of the the demo thing. Here's a piece of pipe. Whatever. You know. Work, work, work. Hey, okay. bye. Hi. Uh, just a quick, uh, a quick update. I'm making my next uh, uh, tubing piece of tubing. Here's my piece of tubing. And uh, so this is the way I make my hole. Uh, I kind of cut this out to vaguely resemble what's going to appear here, like this. And um, then I eyeball it and sort of measure and use tape to measure the length of this thing and sort of guess at the angle. And then I hold this up here and I draw a line there and a line on the bottom and a line going up and down vertical where I want the pipe to end up. And then I use this thing here, Dremel tool with the cutting blade to uh, cut a hole in the um, pipe. And then I straighten it out and slowly fit this thing into the hole. And then weld it. That's it. Boom zoom. And bow your uncle. Ha ha. Yeah. Okay, through the magic of TV. <laughs> it is now actually the next day, you know. And then uh, I'm back out here flailing away at this thing. So this is, uh, you know, whatever I've been talking about before in the video, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. so what I wanted to show you was uh, there's some really strange looking holes going on. And I don't know, the perspective in the camera is slightly different from what I see here. But anyway, you can see uh, the strange shape that you end up getting. It's not, it's not anywhere near round. Nothing's round. It's all funny shaped. There's an abrupt turn right here. Can't quite see it all. Anyway. What did I learn? Well, I learned that uh, what I do is I tape up this thing when it's when it looks like this. I tape it up and I stick it in the hole till it's in there, and then I draw around here with a pencil. And when I did that on here, there was big gaps all over the place. And so what I did was um, I didn't cut where the pencil mark was. Because the pencil mark, the pencil mark tends to be up here, and where you want it to quit is inside the hole. So uh, that's what I learned on this one. So you get a better, I get a more better cut. It's still not perfect, but it's, you know better than this one. So I'm getting ready now. To weld. As soon as I get this thing in here. So I'm going to weld this up. And, uh, so the reason why this section of video is so long is because I need a new battery for my camera. Well, it is a recharge battery. Not a new battery. Buying another battery, that'd be silly. Oops. Sorry. Uh, this is the back side. I can't see, but maybe you can see it. Um, I am so sick of grinding. Let me tell you. Okay. 
This one's in. Yep. And this one's in. And this one's in. And this one's not in. So, um, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. Hold on. <sighs> okay. So, boom, zoom. Yeah. Gotta cut it off before you can put it on. Okay. Hmm. fits for the hole but the right shape for the hole too. and it's got a and kind of go in there and it's in there, there somewhere alright about in there There's more tape over here. Yeah. So now I got a hole, now I got to cut a hole. And here. 
Okay. Now this is uh, kind of what me and the dog are finding out. And uh, I don't know, these videos have been taking quite a long time. It's been probably a couple, two weeks or so since I started this thing. And what I'm finding out is uh, that as you... Basically, just can't hold on to this uh, camera. Yeah. Okay. As you as you you go to fit this guy into your pipe, I mean it goes in there easy once you get the hole big enough. But uh, what happens is you keep uh, altering the hole shape to get this thing to fit and the width of the hole it turns into being wrong. Um, as you can see the curvature here eventually makes the hole uh, oblong and it, and it turns into a really weird shape and I don't know how to predict you know, the bottom of the hole is going to end up down in here somewhere in order to get this thing over far enough to uh, mate because the, the um, uh, what do you call it, the radius of the pipe here is uh, quite large in terms of the way that it's got to be going. So uh, what I could do is section the pipe, you know, and I did that earlier with these other pipes because the distance was so much shorter. But that works into a whole lot of problems uh, because you get a lot of crap on the inside of your pipe and so on. So I don't know. I've worked on this for about uh, two or three hours now, and I'm really 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 getting tired of working on these headers so I'm going to quit and come back and at another time when I'm fresh of mind and body because I can't stand doing it any longer so see you in a couple yeah you know you don't really uh, you don't really seem to care Okie dokie. Hi there. Uh, another edition of um, me working on this. Got my trusty water. And uh, I got uh, I got this thing here I cut off of the old header which is sitting up there. Where is it? Should be in the viewfinder. Yeah. Okay, and uh, put this thing here. Okay, and test fit the header there. So it's on the engine, and I'm gonna whack that and I got my guard dog out here. Uh, keeping me safe against any infidels that want to take over the uh, homestead out here in suburbia. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the plan. Gonna whack that in half about and hook it to the back end um, up in here using my professional pointing tool. Back there somewhere, and then that's gonna hook up to the uh, exhaust pipe down there using that flange that's on the table and that chunk of pipe right there with the flange on it. Using my foot as a pointer.
Okay, and there's another chunk of U-Fi just in case I mess up. Um, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And then, uh, oops, I forgot. I got to order some new uh, wires because, you know, yellow's just really, come on. Yellow's not good. Plus, they're not going to reach over the top of this thing. Either. I'm expecting that should get rather hot. Okay, so let's get to it. It's uh, Sunday and daylight's burning. Okay, so there's the um, shortened exhaust pipe bolted to the uh, header collector deal and you can see there's a little gap between my down pipe oh I'll fill that with the uh, weld and then up here I gotta tack that so that mm, everything will align right and um, I'm gonna weld it up without ruining my valve cover ha, should be fun Yeah, boy, it just looks like uh, it takes about two seconds to do that, doesn't it? Doing this uh, here film, boy, don't I wish. Okay, well, I pretty much ran out of time today, and um, I still got a weld what you see down there to this and then I'll be able to bolt it yep that'll be the next time I do video see if this thing works I still got to get wires, and I still got to get, uh, I still got to put some silicon in between the header and the engine, and uh, I think that'll, uh, that'll work. So the exhaust header project is in a state of doneness, I think. There it is. A homemade exhaust header. Why am I glad it's done? About what? Let's see. Yeah, about 30 days, give or take. See you later.